hello you guys and welcome back to my channel here's the vegas vlog all right so i'm doing it this way just so it's easier you can get the whole itinerary that you need in less than 15 minutes so right now i'm just showing you guys just what we our transportation to the hotel things like that um, i'm gonna go ahead and do all my rambling now we stayed at the sahara it was just me and one other girl um, I actually recommend going with a group of people and not just one other person just because if for some reason the one person that you're with doesn't want to do an activity that you want to do, you're either SOL or you're SOLO, which I was for a day. Um, look at that. Welcome, Jasmine. Um, just here's an overview of the hotel, things like that. We stayed from Wednesday, August the 31st all the way to Tuesday, September the 6th, so almost a whole week. Um... I'm going to just list out all the restaurants that we went to. So go ahead and get your pen and paper for breakfast slash brunch spots. We went to Hash House, a go-go at the link, Mimosa Gourmet, Pepper Mill Restaurant and Fireside Lounge, Downtown Terrace, and Flights. For dinner, we went to Top of the World, Una Mas Taco, which is located at the hotel. We went to Super Frigo, which was located at the Cosmopolitan. We went to Prendy, which is at the hotel, Hell's Kitchen, and Catch. All right, so the activities that we did were the Usher concert. Y'all, that man still got it. Did the gondola ride. We went to the Martini Bar, I Love Sugar. We explored the Strip, Area 15, Dreyas Nightclub, Elia Beach Club Pool Party, Casino, if you can count that little time I went there, um, Slotzilla, explored Fremont Street, and then XS nightclub slash pool party. All right, so a few tips that I have for traveling to Vegas. Y'all, it is literally hot as hell. Bring lots of sunscreen. Stay hydrated, even though that's hard to do for me when I'm trying to drink. But make sure you stay hydrated. Um, find you a promoter out here. I literally got into all of those like activities like the nightclub and the two pool parties for free. Shout out to Norman. Um, I'll try to list his TikTok in the description bar, but I messaged him and he got me into all the places on his guest list. You, Of course, you got to be there on time. You already know how it is. Another tip that I have is do not travel to Vegas broke or trying to be cheap. I mean, there are some spots out there that don't cost as much maybe, but the places that I've listed that I've went to, oh baby, you better spin, spin out there. All right, so that kind of concludes majority of my rambling. So let's get into day one. So after we packed and everything, just went to the pool, which was a dub. It was hot as hell, y'all. It was like 110 degrees. We only stayed out there for about 10 minutes. There's no shade in this pool area at the Sahara Hotel. Went somewhere simple, Unamas Taco, for our dinner. I don't even gotta say nothing, just look. Baby, who did I think I was thinking that I could wear these heels all night? Because, girl, no, don't do it. I just had to get up here and tell y'all how bad my feet were burning that night from wearing them heels like they were on fire 
Don't do it, girl. I sure ain't gonna be able to see your feet. Don't do it. Wear your sandals. Oh, that one over there in the corner? Yeah, so many people are taking pictures next to it and everything. And I saw a thing that people in Vegas, they lived like the hotels they rent out those cars to make it seem like high rollers. Another tip would be to make sure to go into these other hotels out here because this was at the Venetian. It was so pretty in there. I think I've been to the Link, the Venetian, Caesar's Palace. Cosmopolitan, Cromwell, Flamingo, like we was going into everybody hotel. Top of the world stratosphere. This is definitely an experience that I recommend doing. Um, definitely gonna spend some coins here, but you do have to pay $25 more for the revolving seats, which of course I did because I had to get that beautiful view. Um, coming up, you're about to see my outfit. Let's get into it, girl. This is an oldie but a goodie. Had to bring it back out and act like it's new because look at there. I only wore it one time too, so yeah. So this is the first drink that I had ordered, didn't like it, so I had to get another one. I was trying to drink brown all night, but there's not that many good brown cocktail drinks. Everybody likes to use white. Here's a little overview of the menu, and then y'all look at this view. Look at me, the other view. <laughs> but yes, go here. <laughs> Next up, we was heading off to Mimosa Gourmet. Not gonna lie, it was giving ghetto, cuz look at this sign right here. Not us having to open up the door with the tape, but the food was bomb. And look at that big old mimosa. Next up, we have Area 15. Um, honestly, I feel like this place is overhyped. I don't really get the point of it, really. I mean, unless you're on another type of level, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, maybe you would have been given something, but it really wasn't given what I thought it was going to give. Other than Haley's comment that we went on, um, I believe it was 18 bucks. Shout out to the stranger that recorded me. Y'all just enjoyed this random pretty view of the Cosmopolitan and of me. Um, we were heading off to Super Frico, one of the restaurants. It was a far walk, y'all, up in that building. Big old building. But it's dinner and a quote-unquote show. 
not really much of a show, but I mean, hey. <laughs> potatoes. There's the show right there. A piece of it. getting to say what day it is but this is day four saturday we went to pepper mill restaurant and fireside lounge that drink is really pretty and really good it was called bubble bath next up we went to elia beach club we originally were supposed to go to dreas but we did not make it in time for the free guest list for some reasons and they were trying to charge 75 dollars y'all and that was not bad to pay 75 dollars to get into nobody's club so went to the free spot <laughs> So, got real lit at day four, so didn't do nothing after the pool party. So, here's day five, my solo dolo day. Went and ate at Downtown Terrace on Fremont Street. Look at the fit. Yes, she in. Um, here is me walking down Fremont Street, solo dolo, getting ready to do Slotzilla. Met this really nice lady. Shout out to Nina. We ended up buying each other drinks. We did slot Zilla together and hung out on Fremont Street. Here's just a view of that. <laughs> Honorable mention, I got stuck on slot Zilla and the man had to come get me. Um, if you're petite slash average weight, you might get stuck too. People were real nice just buying us drinks. A very brief casino time on the slot machine. Next up, we got Hell's Kitchen. The food was pretty good, but the more I ate of it, the more I didn't want it, if that makes sense. Next up, we have XS Nightclub slash Pool Party. Um, they do play EDM music, so you definitely need to be in the mood or be lit enough to get yourself into the mood. Definitely recommend going out there with a lit crowd, like a lit group of people. Um, not really recommended just one other person. up to day six we just went to flights restaurant i'm wearing a simple outfit from shein two piece um they do have a special at this place three for fifteen dollar drinks um i ordered some simple french toves it was all right nothing special didn't do anything else this day just breakfast and then dinner at this beautiful place called catch it's located at the aria hotel look how pretty it is in there and i know y'all seen that fit too baby but look at how pretty this is Order something simple, just some broccoli and some sushi, nothing special. Basically sums up my Vegas trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, favorite, and subscribe and all that good stuff. Add me on TikTok. I do have a brief overview of Vegas trip up there. And follow me on Instagram. I'll leave everything in the description bar below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this less than 15 minute itinerary for Vegas.